Hey folks, uh, this lesson is called Order of Operations. This is an important lesson, you guys. You'll use this lesson for the rest of your math uh, career. So um, as you guys go into high school and stuff, you're going to be using this. Uh, you need to get uh, uh, good with this. So there's our common core strand for our teachers. And so here's our question. How do we use the order of operations to evaluate expressions with exponents and parentheses, you guys? So here's the order of operations. So we go, we follow this order right here. So if there's any parentheses, we got to do the parentheses first to simplify the stuff in the parentheses. And then if one, once we're done with that, then we look for any exponents and we do those next. Then when we're done with that, then we multiply or divide from left to right. Now this could be divide or multiply. It just depends on which comes first when you're going from left to right. Same with add or subtract. It could be subtract or add from left to right. So we do parentheses first, exponent second, multiplying or dividing from left to right next, and then adding or subtracting is always the last step from left to right. Okay, so Numerical expressions uh, are expressions that involve numbers and operations, so we can use the order of operations to evaluate these numerical expressions. Let's just jump right into it here. So we're going to evaluate each expression. Okay, so here's the first one. Here's the order of operations right here. Okay, so it says uh, do the parentheses first. Well, these first few aren't going to have any parentheses. They're going to start with the exponent. So let's do the 3 squared. 3 squared is 9, 3 times 3, okay? And then what do we do next? The next step says multiply or divide next okay so we don't do this addition till the very last so the next thing we're going to do is the 18 divided by 9 is 2 okay now we can go ahead and add 5 plus 2 is 7 right there okay so if you did it in a different order you won't get this correct answer 7 that's why we have to have a rule so everybody gets the same correct answer there has to be some sort of rule all right so here's our order of operations so we're going to do the 3 squared first 3 squared again is 9 and then now now, this 9 over 3 is 9 divided by 3, so let's divide. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Okay, and then we can add 21 plus 3 is 24. Okay, hopefully it's easy, you guys. I get I, my students make a lot of careless errors because they're just, they want to do, you know, they want to, they do the wrong order. So just make sure you're doing the order of operations correctly. So let's do this exponent first, okay? 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, okay? All right, now... What do we do next? Okay, well, we got there's no parentheses. We got rid of the exponent right there. Now we multiply or divide from left to right. So here we have multiply first when we start from the left. So we're going to multiply 6 times 8 first, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and divide now. 48 divided by 3 is 16, yeah, and then uh, 16 plus 1 is 17, okay? All right, let's try another one here. So couple more. So evaluate the expressions using the order of operations. Okay, here, let's do the 9 times 9. 9 squared is 81. All right, now we're going to have to do, we can't add yet. we got to multiply 15 times 81. Well, I did that right here. There's a few ways you can do 15 times 81. I did it a uh, traditional way right here. We get 1,215, and now we can add. So add 7 to that 15. We get 1,222 right there. Okay, let's go over here. What are we going to do first? we got to do this first, so that 9 right there, 3 squared is 9. Okay, and then what are we going to do second? we got to do the division second. So what's 45 divided by 9? Well, that's 5, so add that 0 is going to give us 50 right there. Now we can subtract, get 170, okay? If we did the wrong order, we get the wrong answer. The, the correct answer is 170. All right. So remember uh, that we do the parentheses first if there are any parentheses. So these next few have some parentheses here. So let's evaluate this, okay? So we got to do the parentheses first. Now 9 divided by 3 is 3, okay? So I'm just doing it one step at a time. Did the parentheses first. Now we're right here. Now we got to do this exponent. So 3 squared is still 9. Okay, some students want to give me 6 on that because they think it's 3 times 2. No, it's 3 times 3. It's 3 times that many 3's right there. All right, now we can multiply 4 times 9 is 36 right there. Okay, let's try another one. All right, let's do the parentheses first. 12 minus 2 is 10. Now let's do the exponents. 5 times 5 times 5 and then 10 times 10. Well, 5 times 5 times 5, I did that over here, is 125. And everybody knows 10 times 10 is 100. And then we add those together and we get 225. Okay, let's try this. Okay, the parentheses first, 12 minus 8 is 4. Now we got to do 4 squared. 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16. 
and then uh, 16, we've got to do 16 divided by 2. This is a division problem. A fraction is a division problem. So 16 divided by 2 is 8, and then 8 plus 8 is, is 16 right there, okay? All right, so uh, Russell wants to evaluate the expression, the quantity, the parentheses means quantity, 5 plus 3 squared. And so his first step is to do 5 squared plus 3 squared. Is he going to get the correct value for this expression? And if not, what should he do to evaluate the expression? Okay, well, no, he's not, you guys, because we got to do the, uh, the parentheses first right there, because 5 squared is 25, and 3 squared is 9, and 25 plus 9 is 34. Did I? Oh, boy, golly, my arithmetic's wrong. It's 34. So, which is incorrect, Russell needs to uh, follow the order of operations and first add first. <laughs> so am I adding? My arithmetic was wrong. 5 plus 3 is 8, and then now we do 8 squared is 64, and 64 is not 34. So he would have got the incorrect answer on that. All right, let's see if I can get the rest of these correct. Does your teacher make mistakes on the math board? I bet they do. My students correct me every day, almost, anyways. So let's go ahead and do the parentheses first. 20 divided by 4 is 5. Okay, so, uh, so now we're going to do this exponent next. So 5 squared is 25, and then 5 times 25 is 125. Okay, let's do the parentheses first. 5 plus 2 is 7, and then we'll do the exponent. So 8 squared is 64, 7 squared is 49. And then when we subtract, we get 15, okay? Parentheses first, 63 divided by 9 is 7, okay? And now we got to do so lots of 7s right there. Now we got to do 7 squared. 7 squared is 49, one step at a time, you guys. 49 divided by 7 is 7, and then 7 minus 7 is 0 right there, okay? All right, you guys. If you guys ever have any questions or concerns, you can comment on the video below, or you can even email me at math at mrmathblog.com. Take care.